What's up guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video. I don't know what. Um, today we're going to be talking about commands and the ones that I know how to do and that you should, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I have eight commands to showcase to you guys today. Um, first one is the cloning commands. So this, uh, this command is actually mostly used for like kit PVPs and all kinds of other things. So if you, here's the command itself, the slash cone, the four, the four stands for how, how many blocks it is. So like, say if I put like 10, for example, and then place a block, it'll go up 10 blocks. If I break it, that block disappears. But the easiest way is just to do four because then it'll just float above it. Technically, if like this, remember, this is like really used for kit PvPs. So, Alright, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, mostly with the clone commands, you can actually do all kinds of things. So, like, say if you do this, for example, like you just put that, 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 that. And then you open this one, you can actually, bang, you can take it. Except the cloning command does have a few bugs in it because it will delete some of it it does take like a while to like actually get one um your easiest um way to do it is just to like put it on like a tick or so and you might be able to actually get something yeah the command is like really annoying <laughs> um if you actually break them though you can actually get the stuff um, even though you're doing the, even though if you do that, you could actually still crash the game. Because, I mean, it'll lag. Other than that, that's mostly how you do the cloning command. <clears throat> Alright, next up is the, is the TP command. So, in order to do this command, you need at least, um, coordinates on. Because coordinates is always used for these commands. Um thing you need is a com is a command block yes right here you put that like that you don't really do it like that but you can do it anyway actually you take like a button or something or a lever or a pressure plate it doesn't really matter as long as it's redstone activated and what you do is that you want to type slash TP TP and then the thing that you want to do is that you can either choose every player what you can't do at E which is all entities but you can do all players you can do a random player you can do the nearest player you cannot use the self command though sadly because I still haven't fixed that um well actually no I, I don't know I'm an idiot sorry for that <laughs> alright so other than that, um, I'm terrible at explaining. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm making this video. I just wanted to help some people out that don't even know how to do these stupid commands. I don't know why. Okay. Well, there's still some commands that I don't know, too, though, that are really helpful when it comes to games. Okay, stop talking about myself. Now it's time to get back to doing this. Okay, so... What you want to do is that you want to find what you're gonna, what you want to do. So like, say uh, this will be like spawn. Yes, it's an ugly as hell spawn. What you want to do is that you want to memorize these chords, negative one hundred two, which is the first one. You do slash tp. I'm gonna do. Um, you can also do your username or a specific person's username. It's so, like small ghost <laughs> underscore yt. You click that and you go back you just the easiest way to do this is to memorize it is to just do this and then once you do that you do you do negative one or one you have to literally copy it <laughs> 60 and then 309 it can be anywhere it can be anything and then you click the button or anything that red so activates it and you'll get teleported perfect ain't it um yes there will be more commands in the future um 
I just like created this about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, with my friend Demon Skull. Shout out to him. Um, and Snowy Owl over there. Yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> other than that, that's the TP command. We also have the say command and the title command. I'll do that in the next video, actually, or maybe this video. I don't know. I'm in the mood for doing commands, so who cares? So here's the slash gift command. This works for command blocks and all kinds of other things. What you want is a command block or at least operator. So the easiest way to do it is just do slash give and then the player or whatever that you want them to get and then you type in the thing. So like I say, um, grass. Then type the amount that you want. Like at least like put 999 or so. You'll get literally stacks. Alright, other than that, that's mostly the command. The same thing goes with the command block over here. You literally just do slash give, except for app, at s. You just do slash give. Um, border, not border block, but I just wanted to do something random because I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. Just put a button on top or something that will give it a activation, and then bada bang, bada boom, you got a border or something that you put. Other than that, that is the gift command, everyone. Over here is the command um, only items that you can only slash give yourself. You have the NPC command, um, where you just do slash summon NPC, and then you need pick block in order to get the actual spawn egg. Secondly, you have to do slash give, um, and then uh, the username, and then light underscore block. I'll show you guys in just a second what every single one of these do. Did not, and then just do slash give um, your username or whatever. Deny. Same thing goes with all of these. Um, it's a lot easier to just like take a command block, like say, um, just like say you could do that, and then you just turn that repeat, and then turn that to chain, and then you have use pick lock, pick block. Bada bang, bada boom, it works. Um, and that's so far some of them. <clears throat> then you got the jigsaw and the structure block. I don't even know anything about these because I'm still learning about them. You got the structure and you got the jigsaw. The structure block, you can actually, it's kind of like a Roblox kind of thing. Yes, I know there's haters out there. I, I, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> um, it's literally just a grid and everything that you can create. Um, whatever is in this area, like say if I put another structure block, or what, not another structure block. Say I put like a few dirts right here, see that? Um, if I put like save or something, you can actually save it. And then you can put load and then it'll actually load the thing. That's how you really copy them. That, and that's the structure block. Next block is the jigsaw block. This one, I have no idea how to use at all, because I am really stupid. The block is, like, actually really confusing. It's mostly for, like, people who, like, to script and everything. Um, other than that, that's the, that's the jigsaw and the structure block. Um, next you have the allow block, where you just do slash give, um, and then the allow. Just do allow. Same thing goes with the jigsaw and the structure, just do slash give, and then the structure, or underscore to block, and then jigsaw underscore block. Then we have the barriers, actually. Here's structure void. Um, not really that useful unless you don't know how to use the deny or the allow. But structure void allows you to not be able to, well not allows you, but disables you to be able to build or destroy anything. Because, say, if I'm in survival or so, um, okay, hold up, <laughs> uh, okay, so, yeah, um, oh my god, okay, so, structure blocks, not structure blocks, oh my god, <sighs> structure voids. They allow you to place down blocks, and they, they don't allow you, actually. They don't allow you to place down blocks, break, break blocks, or anything that's in their area. So, like, say if I do it like this, I can't break anything under this or, um, or on that or whatever. You can actually break these in creative, because, like, watch. It's literally just like a freaking, um, barrier. 
And so technically, the higher their height is, the the more they can't break or build. Um, next, you have border blocks, which are extremely useful, actually. Because if you put, like, borders or so down, it's literally just a w extremely overpowered fence. Let's just say that. So, if you're, like, making a mining simulator, which I'll get on so something like that in about, like, five seconds or so. <laughs> Alright. What you want to do is, they, if you're going to do this, you can be in survival. Um, You have to be in creative, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you have to be in creative to get on top of these. There's other ways to bypass them, which there's... Because there's like many other ways. You have the shulker box way. You got the shulker box. You got the ender pearl. And you got the boat. And the minecart. So if you watch here closely, you have to do it like this. Do it like this. You have to walk into that. You have to do it perfectly timing in order to do it out and actually glitch. See, look. I'm out. And no, it's not because I'm in creative, because you can actually still get out in survival. Um, same thing goes with ender pearls. You can just teleport out. Um, boats. You have to make sure that the boat is actually like really close like that. And then bang, you're out. Same thing goes with a rail and minecart. Bada bang, bada boom, I'm out. And that's mostly it on the border. Other than that, other than that, actually, you can't actually place blocks on it. Actually, <laughs> wrong game mode. So, like, say I am back. So, see, this you can break anything inside the borders, actually, but you can't break anything under them. But you can break everything that's right next to them. You can't break the borders themselves. You just end up breaking something else. <laughs> um, you can't build anything on them. And that's mostly it. You can't go under them. There's no way to bypass them except for those only ways. Um, other than that, that's the border blocks, everyone. So let's remove all that. And yes, there is a command that allows you to get the those red particles that float up in the air um, off. It's the game rule command. Just do slash game rule. <laughs> Pretty sure it's, where is it? Um, show border effect, and then you put faults, and then it'll, this will all disappear. Um, other than that, that's the border command, everyone. And everything else. <laughs> you just do slash give yourself um, border and then underscore block. That's how it goes. I um last for the barrier ones you have barrier which is literally the one that I was just talking about <laughs> barriers are literally r really fun but mostly annoying when it comes to troll lobbies and like actual hard hard and parkour lobbies because you can actually do it like this and they can't see them except for when they're like like that um, there's other ways to actually be able to see, um, and to help them, like for, say, do that, like sea lanterns, do that. And then, if you're gonna do that, and then you could just do this, parkour, and you can see them. Um, barriers cannot be broken. Not in survival, only in creative. They're all ten so technically all of them are actually just like bedrock. Um, barriers you can just do like that, and you could do that. Barriers also um, stop things from growing and other players getting to people's things and everything else. Blah blah blah. Um, that's really it for all the structures, barriers, and the voids and everything. Next, we're gonna get on to the NPC and the light block. Um, the NPC over here, you can actually change the name, so like say, um, Jeff, 
No, Jeff. <laughs> you can change the you can change the appearance to like mostly anything. Um, you can make it say anything like um, blah, 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 blah. and then when someone opens it, they'll see that. They won't get this though. The only in creative you you'll get that. But in this right here, this part right here, um, they actually get. Um, there's other things with, that you can do with these. Um, let me do that. <laughs> Alright, so say, um, slash, give, um, at P, diamond. And then you can do on enter or on exit. On enter and then slash, give, uh, no, wait. Slash effect. At P, um, and invisibility. <laughs> then you can do, um, on exit. And then the button one. Um, slash give. You can do any of these, actually. I'm not just doing the... I am doing the slash give commands, because I'm too lazy to actually type in a TP and everything. But you can really do any of these, actually. <laughs> um, slash give, um... At... P... Um... Gold... And good. And then put... Button mode, and then put the name. Gold. Go to edit dialog, and then every time you click the button, you get gold. See? Um, that's mostly it for the NPC. The NPCs can be killed by the slash kill command or someone in creative. Cannot be destroyed by anyone in survival, adventure, or anything else. <laughs> Next up, we have the light block. Light block is literally a floating torch. Like, not a floating torch, but it's literally just like a, an invisible torch. These are like really useful if you're if you're making something and you don't want to add torches to. Because if you just build like something like, say, like a square. Like, for example, what I'm doing. I'm doing a terrible job of making this square. <laughs> And then block it all off. Completely dark, ain't it? Put a light block. And... Their max level is up to 15. Look at that. When you take it away, you can't see it. Nor break it, actually. It's invincible. Until you place a block on where it was. That's the light block for you. Really useful, really, um, really fun to use. Could be used for horde maps, I don't know. You never know, it could be. Um, other than that, that's the light block for you guys. <laughs> Last but not least, the deny and the allow blocks. Allow. Allows you, anything that's on the allow will allow you to break. I'm pretty sure you can't break anything with- you can't break the allow block itself. Yep. Denies and allows you- or any of the others you can't actually place while in survival. Except for barriers, actually. <laughs> so, say if I put a... Um... Fletching table. If I do that, and then I go on here, it allows me to break it. Bada bang, bada boom. Yes, I do have tower drops off. Because <laughs> we are fooling around with the clone command. <laughs> um, other than that, that's mostly the allow. It's literally just an opposite version of deny. Um, next you have deny. Mostly used for mining sims, simulators, and all kinds of others. Okay, so, 
when it comes to these actually you can when you're on these you cannot break them you can't break anything that's on them you can break anything that's next to them though you can't actually place anything on them though <laughs> extremely useful literally used for mining sims actually anyone could use them except for people who are not creative <laughs> Um, but that's really it for the command only items um, Next up is the money command which is the currency or whatever slash scoreboard If you're looking to make this like a sir if you're looking to make something like a server or something or so I Don't know I don't know what I'm talking about um, What um, you can use like command blocks or so don't know why I just made that formation. But you have slash scoreboard. If you want to add an objective, you do... Because it's, it's a lot easier to actually just do it in here. Slash scoreboard. Objective. Objectives, I meant. You put add, list, remove, or set display. Add will add the objective. Like slash the thing, currency or whatever. <clears throat> list lists all of the things that you've already added or anyone else has added remove will add any of the things that you've um not add but will remove any of the things you've actually added from permanently um the set display will set it so that you can actually see the um things themselves so say add you don't need to actually okay um, type in something random or so, if you want. Input dummy. And that's really it. Then you click that. Yeah, it has to be less than like 16. But that's mostly it. It'll say that it successfully did it. Next, if you want it to be removed, you can literally just remove it. List, here's list, it just shows you all of these. Now for the set display. You have below name, you have list, and you have side bar. List is literally the exact same thing as I was talking about like two seconds ago. The below name will show it below your username. Except no one else can, I mean, yeah. Everyone can see it except for you. But you can see theirs. So you just do below, name, then your objective, and that's really it. Then you have sidebar. Well, you just do sidebar, then that name thing, and then it'll be on the side where that currency looking thing is. Now, how to add money. What you wanna do is that you wanna do slash scoreboard, and then you, instead of objectives, you do players. Of course, all of these are just insane. <laughs> you have operation where you just do like multiplication and other shit. You got random, you got remove, you got reset, you got set, and you got test, and you got add. Set sets the amount of money or whatever that you want it to add. Or set it as. Add adds it. Move removes that amount of money. It's technically just decrease. List, of course, lists some. That's mostly it. You do add a player, a player. Then you put the name. currency um then just do like a random number and then bada bing bada boom you get money so easy um if you're wishing to make like a buying server or whatever like a shop or something i will feature that in the next video in like the next video or so because i am not doing that this video because then it'll just make it way more too long um, set block command. 
No, you don't need a diamond block or any block, actually. Set block commands used for mining simulators. What you do is that you do set slash set block. Like that. You do these. You put one. You do that. And then you put just the item. Like, say, um, wood or planks. No, let's do planks. Planks, you put it on repeat and you put always active. Look. Of course, I'm not breaking it real fast because then I'll break the command block. Alright, next you can actually make it destroy. Already forgotten how to do that command. <laughs> Pretty sure it's zero and then one. Or it's just destroy. I don't know. I haven't done this in a while. Um, other than that, that's mostly the commands. Um, this mostly does it 500 million times. I will showcase the... How to do the, the auto mining thing in the next video, too. As well. You can do any block, actually, with that. Next, you have the slash fail command. This is something people have been always wanting to do. These are all in Bedrock, by the way. Bedrock Minecraft. The first one is slash fill. I do spaces because I'm pretty old school or whatever for it. You put the name, like say for TNT to grease someone or grease something. Air, which just deletes everything in that specific area and let's see it. Um, the fill command can actually, can actually crash your game, so you might want to be careful if you do, like, a button or something. You don't want it to end up, um, destroying your thing. So, let's do gra gla gla not grass, glass, or so. No, you don't do anything else right here. You can do three, 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 height... Um, width, I'm pretty sure. And then length, I'm not sure. So yeah, the height is four. I don't know why they double. Um, but yeah, that's mostly it. For the fill command. And of course, glass, you can barely even see them. <laughs> um... And that's mostly it. Um, over here you can actually put chords like five 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 five, and then you do that, and then that that that, and then you just do the thing. Well, that, that's mostly it. That's mostly it for the fill command. Of course, mostly everyone knows this command. You got the slash kill command, of course. Slash kill. And. Uh, I messed that up. Specific player or something. You can do a random player. You could do. You can't do the cluster player. It won't work. <laughs> um, you can do slash kill uh, all entities, which will kill an NPC and every single mob <laughs> and living thing. The, or, like, say, blocks. Then you have all players. It will kill every player, and then yourself. Doesn't show, because you'll just, um, kill yourself. That's mostly it for every single one of these. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And that it helped a lot with anything that you guys are having trouble with, or anything else. If you guys need to, um... If you guys need any more information, I can try and give you some more if I do know it. Please make sure to tell me in the comments below, and um, that's the end for the video. Secondly, I would like to give a big shout out to my friend Demon School 27. And, um, and his friend or whatever, Snowy underscore owl 06. Alright, bye guys, see ya.